Hello guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at how to get started with React Native for beginners. So if you're completely new to React Native and want to get started developing apps, you're gonna learn that in this tutorial. We're gonna get a basic Hello World app up and running and it should be pretty easy to follow along. We're just gonna install a couple of programs that we need. So we're not gonna do any actual programming in this uh, tutorial. I'm considering doing uh, a full paid course for React Native for 2020. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you would like to uh, see that and take that course. So React Native is an open source mobile application framework created by Fa Facebook. Um, you use it to develop applications for Android, iOS, web, and UWP. So basically you can create pretty good applications with React Native uh, for both iOS and Android. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna install something called Node. Um, Node is a JavaScript runtime environment. It's built on the Chrome V8 engine, which is the same engine that is used in the Chrome web browser to compile and run JavaScript. So go ahead and visit node.js, node.js.org slash en slash download. I'm gonna leave this link in the description as well. For Windows, just click the Windows installer, go ahead and download it, install it. It's gonna install Node and add something called npm to um, your path on your computer so you can access npm from your command prompt if you're on mac os go ahead and download the mac os installer now i have already installed this so i'm not going to install it but it's just a simple uh, installer installer so uh, go ahead and run it and install node once you have done that go ahead and open up the command prompt on your computer you can access this by typing cmd all right and open it up. On Mac OS, I think it's called Terminal. So once you have installed Node, we're gonna check that everything works. So do that by typing Node and then V for version, and you should be able to see the current version of Node installed on your computer. We're also gonna type npm V, and you should be able to see the version of npm in the command prompt, all right? So npm is the node package manager, which is the largest um, collection of JavaScript libraries basically in the world. Uh, it's very useful for downloading uh, libraries that you use when you're creating applications. So once you have done this, you know that everything is working all right. We are pretty much good to go. You're gonna have to type npm install expo CLI and then g for global all right so this will install the expo cli which is used uh, to create rate native apps uh, globally so you can access it from anywhere on your computer all right now once you have done that you're gonna open up app store on your ios or android store if you're using android and search for expo client go ahead and download this application this is what is used uh, during development to preview the app while you're programming all right and this is the exact app you should download so download this expo client both for ios and android once you have done that go ahead and open up any directory on your computer and we're gonna type mpx cr create oops react native app and then a name for the app. So let's call this name. Let's call this app Hello World. So what this is going to do is going to create a new React Native app on your computer called Hello World and hit enter. Now this takes a couple of seconds or a minute. So we're getting this uh, uh, workflow set up here where we're going to choose a template. For this example, we're going to choose blank, which is just a blank template that we can keep developing from ourselves. So hit enter. Next, we're going to write in a name for the application. So let's just say hello world. Hit enter. And now the app is installing. So while you're waiting for this, you can go ahead and open up the Expo app on your 
iOS or Android phone. And check that everything works in the actual app that it's starting. And then let's go ahead and see the into Hello World. All right. So now what we're going to do to start the application is we're going to call uh, npm start. So we're using the node package manager to start the application we just created. And you sh your browser should open up a new tab. And now this is actually a bug currently in a node module. Uh, let's see here. Um, I have this written down in a guitar repo. So yeah, go ahead. I'm open. I'm using Sublime Text to uh, uh, develop. You can download Sublime Text as well. Just Google for Sublime Text download and download it. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the Hello World application. App.js, I'm going to change the syntax to Babel as well. Zoom in a bit. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to fix this bug by opening up blacklist.js. You can hit Ctrl P in Sublime and then search for blacklist.js. Um, it's this one in node modules metro config slash source source slash defaults, uh, slash blacklist. Let's go ahead and replace this part with this part. I'm going to leave this uh, text here in the description as well. Like that. All right. Now, once again, let's hit npm start and check if we can uh, get it to start this time. This is actually a bug in the uh, node uh, version 12 or bigger, uh, which the node mod module uh, hasn't fixed yet. All right, so now we actually got the local server here running on our computer. So now in your phone, go ahead and open up uh, Safari or Chrome or whatever you're using and type this in the URL bar. So exp. This, I don't know what it's called in English, colon, colon, this two dots, uh, slash, slash, 192, and then your IP address followed by the port here. All right. Then hit enter, and you're going to get a prompt asking you if you want to open this application in Expo. Hit yes, this is going to open the actual application in Expo on your phone. Okay, so you can see it. Now what's going to open in your phone is this. You're just going to see uh, your app running. It's going to say open up app.js to start working on your app. So what you can do is open up this app.js file. Change the text here to hello world. Hit save. And your app will automatically update with a new text. All right. So that's how it works to develop with React Native. Everything's uh, compiled in real, real time. So you can see the changes uh, in real time. All right, so let's see here if there's something else we should go through. Uh, nope, that's it. So yeah, yes, need node, Expo client for iOS or Android, Expo CLI, fix the bug in the node module currently. It's probably going to be resolved if, you, if you're watching this in the future, but for now, you have to fix it by yourself. So yeah, that's how to get started with your first Hello World in uh, Hello World application in React Native. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Bye bye.